Today in this YouTube video, I'll be showing you guys how to create this iPhone control center edit from the scratch. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, like, and share this video. And also don't forget to turn on the post notification to get notified whenever I drop videos like this. So for today's video, we'll be using After Effects. After Effects is not a free program, so you might want to find a way to get it, download it, and um, install it on your system. So in this video, I'll actually show you how to create it um two methods i'll drop a template for the people that will not like to start creating it from the scratch uh, so you can just download the templates and i'll show you how to replace the um music artwork so you can customize it your own way i just like basically have um, creative freedom over it go to the link in the description of this video you see the link to download um the ak control center templates the file is going to be like this you see the templates and the pictures that I used to create the template. Then you just drag the template into After Effects and you double click on Main. That is basically going to um, open up um, the main um, folder for you. And in this folder, for you to now change this artwork, like I said, you just need to double click on the um, pre main and you go to Music. So now you see Post Mode here play mode here because the way I actually created the template is in a way for you to like play and um, pause like you're actually clicking on the play button on the um, music thing so double click on the play mode here and make sure to add an artwork so now if you're using an iPhone you just need to take a screenshot of your music player or um, and if you're using an Android you still be able to work with it but I customize this basically for um, majorly for um, iPhone users so I have this um, Remas um, artwork that I'm going to practice with. So I'm going to use the one with the play button. As you can see, I'm just going to drag it and just get it up. I'm not even sure it's going to fit into the... You know what, let me just release the opacity of everything. Then I can just scale it down. So actually, I was meant to take another screenshot from here. But yeah, you guys will just basically get the idea from here. And if I go back to main, so now when I click on play, and to customize the other one, sorry, then for post mode here, I just copy the play mode, and I'll paste it here. So now when you go back to main, the artwork could have changed. And it just will be able to customize it like that. So the other thing I'll show you today, the way I make my hands um, go over um, the templates is by actually rotoscoping. I've talked a lot about rotoscoping on this YouTube channel. So you might want to watch the other um, After Effects videos that I have on this channel. So the first thing you want to do is to drag in your video. So this is basically the video I have right now. It's just me pretending to press my phone. So I'm going to double click on it. Make sure you set the resolution to full. Then I'm going to use this roto brush to just um, paint over my finger, my hands, I mean. And as you can see, it has rotoscoped it out. So I'll duplicate it. Then I'll, do, uh, I'll delete the roto effect on the one I duplicated. I'll place it underneath. So now when I just scroll on my timeline, I don't want it to take too much time. I'm just going to either move this one here. So now I can just position it. And then my hands will be behind the templates, um, in front of the templates, I mean. And if you want to, if you just want that to keep on going, you just click on the freeze button. And after it fails, to automatically um, rotoscope your hands out and just give you that, um, that effect of your hand going over the template. It's just to make it realistic, like an AR augmented reality. So that's the first method of doing uh, um, the effects using my free template. So for the curious ones that want to do it from the scratch, so let's start. <laughs> so the first thing you need to do is to, like I said, get a screenshot of um, the music player and the buttons and everything. So I'm going to drag it into After Effects. I'm going to go to Composition, create a new composition. I'm going to click on OK. Then I'm going to drag the artwork in. 
I'm going to scale it down. Then I scale it down. And I scale it like this. I can precompose it. Precomposing means I'm moving it into another layer, but everything, the properties they stay, stays here. I'll click leave this leave um, attributes on check. Then I'll just call it boss mode. I won't be going so in depth, but I just want to show you basically the idea of how I do these things. So I'm going to go to layer and I'm going to click on new shape layer. And I'm going to draw a new shape on this place like this. I'm also going to draw a new shape just right here. Then I'll just make it look good. I'll go to the rectangle path and I'll increase the roundness. I'll do it for the two. I'll go to the right angle part, increase the roundness. I'll click it down. Then for the post mode, I'm going to click on toggle switch and modes, and I'm going to change it to alpha mats. And as you can see, um, I've actually like cut out the almost head parts from this. So now it's just like, um, I can precompose this. So if you want it to play, you just need to repeat the same thing I did. I'm going to show you, don't worry. So now, I can scale it down, and I'll go into this precomp one. I'm going to use um, the post mode now. I'm going to use 1159. By the way, you can also download the template file to find um, the artwork I'm using now. And I'll just basically precompose it again. I'll call it play mode. Then I'll click on S. I'll just copy the property of the S, command C, or control C, control V, and then P, command C, control V. So now I can copy this shape layer and I can change it to alpha math as well. So now when you are just, um, when you're um, shooting your video and then you click your eye like you press play, so on that point that you press play, I'm going to just trim that part out. So, so it goes from pause to play. As you can see, it actually changed. So that's it for that first part. And for the other parts, it's basically still the same. I'm using the screenshot that I created, um, that I got from my iPhone, sorry. And I'm going to scale it down. I'm going to precompose it, call it the focus board. Then I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to do the same thing I did. I'm going to just try to go over this, sorry. I'm going to go to layer, create a new shape layer. Then I'm going to drag this one on it. I'm going to drag this one on it as well. I'm going to drag this one on it. I won't be too um, precise for the purpose of this video. And I'll just drag this one out as well. So now I can go into the path or not. I'll just go to the focus mode and I'll change it to our format. So now it's basically just like tweaking the roundness and um, the position of things now. So now I can move this one up. Sorry, I'll precompose it to two now. Then I can move it up. Let me move this one now so you can see what is happening. I can move this one up, then I'll go to layer, create a new null object. So null object is like an empty object that helps me uh, move around, position things without affecting the original position. So now I'm going to pick with the two to this, and then I'll press P on my keyboard. I'll just move slightly forward. Now I'm going to move it down like that. So now when I play it, it moves down. So that was too slow. And then I can click on this. It's just like a motion blur. And then I'll click on toggle switch and modes. And I'll just activate that. So now when you play it, another thing is for you to, for your system to run faster when you're working in After Effects, you might want to change this to quarter so that it runs smoothly. So when I play it, it goes down. So now it's basically just where your mind and creativity takes you to. So now you can, um, you can customize this to fit whatever you are doing in your video. You can take, um, if I go to Google, 
like the activated button. The activating button actually got it from Google. And this is just it. And basically, I just repeat the same process and use the text to write activate on it. And yeah, so I think uh, with everything I've explained in this video, you have been able to get the idea of how to create um, this from the scratch. But if you're looking to like even get to know how the animation works, you might also want to download the templates. Like I said, the link to that will be in the bio, um, in the description of this video. So just download that and practice with it. And yeah, that'll be all for this video. Hope to see you guys in another video like this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, drop a comment for me, and follow me at AK.Wicked. Uh, yeah, see you guys in another video. Cheers.